Hi guys, it's me again. It's really dark and gloomy today, so I'm going to be uploading some videos throughout the week, so stay tuned. But anyway, I have an unboxing for you guys today. These are two figures that I did not honestly think that I would be able to find around here because I live in Kansas and I went to two Targets yesterday just for the heck of it and it's pretty funny actually because we had to get groceries and stuff too but um, I took my mom with me and I was, um, we we're going through like Funkos and vinyls and you know all the usual stuff all the fun stuff you know but anyway I was telling her about these two that I happened to find well she actually saw them That's right. The Chaser Vinyl Monster High dolls. What happened was they have them hanging, you know, on the shelves. And I was going through them all and she's like, well, what are you looking for? And I was like, well, I'm just going to see if they have these Chase figures. And she's like, well, what's that? And I said, well, they're pretty interesting. Let me go through these first and I'll tell you what they're about. And I didn't even get through them all yet. And she goes, oh, look at these two. They're funny. And they were the Chaser dolls. I mean, they were... Like, like, they weren't hung up, they're just like, there's like a display of the, um, ghoul, not ghoul spirit, the, um, scara, God, I can't remember the names now, the, um, scare, oh well, the ones with the sports teams, um, not the ghoul spirit, the scare master, the scare master dolls were in a display and they were just sitting, like, on top of them, like, somebody picked them up, looked at them, just set them right on top of the display, like this, I mean, facing out instead of hanging them back up, so. Because, I mean, if you don't know what they are, I mean, they look sort of, I mean, they look funny. You'd think, well, that's weird. I mean, if I didn't know what they were, I wouldn't have, I would have just left them there, too. But I'm going to take them out and show you what they look like. And see, this is why when you go toy shopping or quote-unquote, grocery shopping and underwear shopping that um, you don't take anybody with you because you know you happen to just get paid and then you find everything you want and yeah and then you have two weeks to wait until you get paid again <laughs> alright so if they have tape on the back which I just undid I'm trying to take these out very carefully because I Kind of this one, I don't really want to ruin the box because I'm going to put them back in the box. Sort of like what I do with my Funkos. I take them out, inspect them, kind of, and put them back in the box. Because I don't really have anywhere to display them right now. And I currently, I do not, here's the top piece. Currently, I don't have any of the um, regular vinyls. I do know um, when I did my big toy hunt that I did get a regular Frankie. I gave her to somebody to give to me for my birthday so that's not going to be unboxed until after April okay here is the um, chaser Frankie Stein her hair is very vibrant silver very metallic -y, shiny now I like her pose her pose and her hands are like they're kind of bendy I don't want to break her because I doubt I'll be able to find her again very bendy they're a soft vinyl. They're not like a hard vinyl. Um, looks like there's a little spot right there. I'll have to see if I can clean. I take a wet wash. Looks like um, it was like where their paintbrush was. I had a lot of the paint on. Oh my gosh! I just noticed this. Like it looks like a like a lightning strike. But um, her face, it says totally voltage, which probably um, references why she has a lightning bolt right there. And then she has like the stitching and lightning bolts all over herself. So she is pretty cool. I was actually so surprised to even find her. So surprised. Because I honestly did not think that we would find any, any of these cool chaser things around here. And there she is. Now I'm going to open up the other one. I said they both were there, just like somebody picked them up and 
deciding not to get them and just put them on the Scare Master display, which is fine, fine for me. I'm glad because it was the little, little Target, which we don't usually go to. I just had what we call a, what did they call it? Had a wild, wild hair up my bottom. And it's like, let's go to the other Target just to see. Because what I really went to look for is the new Equestria Girl doll that some people are finding from the new movie that's a Equestria Girl movie that's not even released yet. And yeah, I didn't find her. Okay, I'm trying to get these little tabs out very carefully. Very carefully. So unfortunately, right currently, I do not have a regular vinyl doll to compare them to of this collection. But that's okay, I'm sure a lot of you already have the regular vinyl dolls. But this one is Draculaura. Okay. Put her out real quick. There she is, and she has bright pink ponytails. Right there. There's her bangs. And her, um... But hers, um, she says scary cute on her, and she has spider webs and bats and lips and hearts all over her, because I don't know if you can read that too well. This camera, once again, sucks. And her fingers are also a little bendy. Like that. It's like their hair is made of, feels like it's a little harder plastic than hers. It doesn't look like she has uh, any ink blots on her, which is good. This one is fine. It just has like, it looked like there was a little too much paint on the brush. And they like dabbed it or something, which is, isn't that big of a deal. And then she, her pose, she has one leg up. And she's all like, wee! So yeah, I just picked these up because I knew that they were a little harder to find. And they're only ten dollars, nine ninety nine each. So they're the same price as the regular Monster High vinyls. So if you find one, I mean, you might as well pick them up because they're the same price. And around here, if you don't pick it up when you see it the first time, you're never going to see it again. So yeah, I don't know really much more to say about them, but they're really cool. And if you collect vinyl figures, whether they're Funkos or Vinyl Nations, Vinyl Nations, or anything like that. These are very comparable in quality. They're very nice quality. And you can see, like, I don't know if you can see, like, they still have their profiles and everything like the regular vinyls do. So this is my Frankie Stein and my Draculaura Chaser dolls. And I heard that Series 2 of the vinyl Monster Hall dolls are coming out sometime soon or in the near future. I don't know if that's the same thing or not. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, until next time, goodbye!